What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. Today a little different. We are testing this 3D printed skimmer. The entire thing is 3D printed. This will take roughly around 31 hours to print and it comes all in pieces. So depending on what type of printer you have, it might be less, it might be more. If you were to print this exact 3D printed skimmer, it would cost you $12.71 worth of filament, according to Bamboo Lab. Before we begin, big shout out to M.G on Maker's World for designing this skimmer. And I can't take any credit for this design. This is all done by M.G on Maker's World. I just printed it and put it together to show you guys. So enough talking, let's get into it. All right, guys, this is it. Finally gonna do this. So this pump is the one, if you plan on printing this exact skimmer, this is what you're gonna need. The Devil Professional Pump Red. This thing will take forever to come from Amazon. So just be prepared for that. All right, lucky today I just did a water change. So I have some gunky water to see some actual skim. Anyway, let's just get to this because I waited like two weeks. I printed this thing like two weeks ago and I've been waiting for that pump for two weeks. So let's do this. Let's fill this tank up with water and get this skimming. All right, honestly, I don't know how much water is supposed to be like that for the level for it. So uh, let's just try this, plug it in and go from there. All right, here we go. I didn't, they said to like silicone, like the middle part, but I didn't do that because I didn't know how it's gonna, like what if it messes up and I had to take it apart. Okay, so here we go. Here it goes. I think it's pretty quiet. Okay, so right here, I think this is where we're supposed to put the silicone and close it, but like, how would you clean it? It's not like I'm gonna keep this. I don't know. So let's not say that. Um, okay, we definitely need more water because, let me see if I can take, no, I can't take that off, but let me adjust it because the water, I don't know if you can see, is right there. So let me, let's adjust it. Let me, let me, uh, let me put this camera down, let me adjust it and then, Let's go from there. All right, so I got it like an inch above the middle. And guess what? Look at that. Look at that. Skimming, skimming, it's skimming. Oh my God, this is so cool. This is, this is awesome. All right, we're gonna let this run for uh, a few minutes, maybe like 15, 20 minutes. And I know this water is disgusting, so it's stuff is gonna come up. I just wanna see uh, like what it looks like, how much comes up. This, I'm, my mind is blown right now. This is insane. Right, guys, this is probably like 15 minutes. It fluctuated a little bit. I guess it's like the breaking period as a 3D skimmer. Um, but look at that. That's that's all from this water. That's crazy. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. All right, guys, that is it for the video. Pretty cool. We're back into the reef tank busters groove. I'm not gonna lie. This is uh, this is pretty fun and interesting to shoot and. Uh, just see the progress of this thing coming together and actually working so pretty cool pretty cool also if you do decide to use this and print it and use it for like long term definitely do your research in the types of filament that are safe for reef tanks because some stuff will or salt water i should say some stuff can leach into the water and um, you don't want that obviously 
So definitely do your research. I have no idea. I just Google everything. So definitely PLA, the one I used is definitely a no-no. So this one was just a test, just for test purposes. So it was like, whatever. But if you're going to use it, definitely use something better. Also, if you do do this, and if I even print this again, um, the cup, look into like a clear filament. I think there's some stuff out there and you gotta like polish it and it'll become like clear. So definitely in the cup section, this camera cup portion, clear would be probably better. All right guys, catch you guys on the next.